Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. Last time we kicked Daywai's ass, we had the Japanese army come in and invade, and we rescued Alice. We also learned that Daywai and Jujin are brothers. Yeah, I didn't really see that one coming. Uh-oh, yikes, there he is. Peg leg and all. And we have another save point here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this opportunity just, just to show you what I have equipped. Uh, first of all, make sure that you have um, a cosmic bracelet on everyone. That's gonna nullify the silence status effect, which is going to be a real pain. Um, Mind's Eye, Jade Lariat, which will just come in handy for Yuri. Also, on everybody else, petrification protection through a zodiac bracelet would be very nice to have as well. Um, I only have two Zodiac bracelets, so I didn't get one for Yuri. Um, but as far as healing petrification, I do have the Wish ability. So yeah, that will get around that. So Alice is in my party, ready to cure up any kind of status ailments that will um, pop up here. So without further ado, let's get started. DUI. For the first time, for the last time. The Mandala of Hell? Why don't we just, you know, wipe it clean like they do with all the other mandalas? Have you guys ever seen those, those sand mandalas? Those things are pretty neat. I couldn't imagine spending years making those intricate designs just to wipe them away like that. What do you understand? Care to enlighten us? Oh. The reverse Demon's Gate invocation. Whoa! Yikes! What's going on? Oh, I guess the tower's all powered up now. Uh-oh. Great. Well, we did put all those gods where they're supposed to be. Oh, you're gonna create a new world? Like Kefka did? Hmm. I actually, I don't know, I kind of feel bad for the guy. It's like, he just wants to protect China and Shanghai. Whatever the cost, you know? Yikes! Uh-oh. Ugh. And he's another Yamaraja, but he's Yamaraja Calamity this time. He is also non-elemental, so it does not matter what you use against him, um, as far as, you know, elements are concerned. This Crimson Fire has a side effect of, um, whoa, that's a lot of damage. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna fuse into Heaven's Fiend just in case if I, just in case I need to heal. Has a side effect of silencing. And I really don't wanna be silenced, especially for healing purposes. And then let's go ahead and attack. There we go. Yeah, because Yuri's gonna be dealing the most damage here. This guy has a lot of HP, let's see. Um, Alice is pretty much gonna be on healing duty the entire time, just kind of rotating around healing. Yuri with some backup healing. Okay, there we go. And you are going to be using Life Sucker. Yeah, that's his most powerful attack right now. Unfortunately, you can't change out Zhuzhin for Marguerite. It's either Alice or Marguerite. It's not, um, it's not like one or the other, you know? You, you have to have either Alice or Marguerite in your party, so that means that Yuri and Zhuzhin have to be with you for this. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, that's not too terrible. Let's see. Next person to be cured is Alice. Yeah, this one is kind of slow and steady wins the race. So do keep an eye on your SP. You might need to use some sort of e extract to cure it. Also, if you need to cure MP, do it. Now is not the time to be skipping on items. Um, this guy can be rather rough, and again, he just takes forever with 3,000 HP. Ooh, a strike on him. Nice. So yeah, at this rate, it's probably gonna take roughly 10. Whoa. Yikes. Leave him alone. 
Uh-oh. Holy crap! Thank God Alice is in my party, yeah. Probably roughly 10 more rounds, I would say, to, um, to get this guy down. Another thing that you could do, that I probably should have done, actually, seeing as Alice really is covering healing duty quite well, is fuse Yuri into the, um, what is it? The, um, I'd have to disembody and refuse, but then he'd go so low on SP I don't want to deal with it. You can fuse him into the Inferno Elemental Spirit, which would increase his attack power by just a bit, but then you can also buff him, and, um, he has, like, an attack buff spell, and it would increase his attack rate by 15% for five rounds, and that would just make this just a little bit faster, but seeing as how powerful he is, I feel like I would rather fight this defensively than offensively. I would rather have quick, easy access to two healing abilities, one from Yuri, one from Alice, um, if need be, rather than only relying on Alice to heal, although Alice is covering it quite well, I must say. So yeah, this is going to take quite a bit of time, so with that, fast forward! Got him! I only had to use a pure seed on Alice once, and a, uh, a mana leaf on Zhuzhin once as well, just to make sure that he kept up with his um, MP supply there. Ooh, get a fifth key. That'd be nice for selling. I believe it sells for like 20,000 gold, if you want to. Or if you're good at the ring, you know, you could use it there too in battle. Let you have five spins. You know, I had some third keys. I probably could have used those too, but... I would actually want to not have um, the mines I equipped for using those because I'm just really bad at the ring and I just don't trust myself. Oh, Alice, are you okay? Oh, good. Yeah, you did just kind of get off the rack and everything. You probably shouldn't have been fighting. Oh, no. He's still going to do it again. Anyway, can we just kill him? Just behead him? Jujin, a fire spell? Yuri, throw him off the rooftop? I mean, somebody, something. Marguerite, shoot him in the back? Something, anything. Uh-oh, yikes, we heard about this. Shoist? What's going on? didn't really seem to do anything. Is he finally dead? Oh. Oh, but I guess it didn't work. Whoa. Oh no, it's Roger Bacon. What are you doing here? You always come at the most inopportune times. Just who are you? What do you want? What's your deal? Ants. He really does think so little of us. Uh-oh. What do you mean we're not going to get a chance to see it? You're going to do it right now, aren't you? 
I don't like the sound of this. Uh oh. Oh no! And we're gonna have a cutscene coming up real soon. And um, I'm gonna be quiet for that cutscene here. Most impressive. Such is the unfettered power of a god. But compared with what I had in mind, it is mere child's play. Well, for Dehuai, I suppose I must admit it's something of an achievement. Well, there's no sense in my lingering here. I believe I shall return to London and have myself a spot of tea. Well then, ta-ta everyone. If you survive, I hope you'll come and pay me a visit there someday. <laughs> Don't! That day, the flames were almost beautiful as they turned Shanghai to ash. In the blink of an eye, they took away so much thoughts, hopes, dreams. And as they watched their world burn, the people cried out in grief. It was like a scene from hell, one of our own making. And that night was the last time I ever saw him. So Yuri's dead? And anyway, we're entering the Shadow Hearts Part 2. Yeah, that's the halfway point. This isn't exactly the longest game. And we're in Europe now. And we're at Prague. And guess what? You can never go back to Asia again. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, some kind of issues with missables and backtracking and stuff like that in this game. And that's why you really want to get those side quests done whenever I did whenever I did them. So here we are six months later in Prague, and she never saw Yuri again. Huh, where's Marguerite? Oh, oh, are they being exorcists or something? <laughs> that is cute. Um, sure. Sounds like a good plan. 
No. They're just co-workers. Wow, you're a d dirty old man, aren't you? Oh, well, thanks. Dirty poster? Like a dirty book? Hmm. Well, this game already showed us its dirty book. <laughs> oh, I guess it's actually physically dirty, as in covered in dirt rather than a raunchy poster. And hey, we got our third Zodiac bracelet, so now we have all of them. That's why I only bought two, because you get the next one so soon. Hey there. Are you alright? What's going on? Uh oh. Ooh, a lottery member. But before I do this lottery, um, I'm gonna want to save. It's a really easy lottery, though, but let me just save real fast. I got that taken care of, so let's go ahead and uh, talk to this guy again. He fell asleep pretty fast. He must have narcolepsy or something. And who can sleep standing up? I'm actually kind of jealous. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Ooh, berserker earrings. Sleeping homeless. Um, okay. Wow, and it goes incredibly slow. It's really ridiculous. So just try to get it your first time around, and boom, done. The end. Very simple, very easy. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Um, okay. You probably shouldn't eat carbs right before bedtime, but still, I don't think I'm going to turn into a cow anytime uh, soon. Oh, by the way, those Berserker earrings, let me just show you, they're not all that hot. They really are, but they kind of suck. Um, here they are down here. Yeah, all it does is increase your HP by 20%. So, yeah, they're really nothing to, um, wait, nothing to write home about. It says here that they increase physical strength, but they don't. I mean, unless you count HP as physical strength, but I don't. To me, physical strength is attack power, not you know, your ability to tank. There we get a Kirin scale. That's an item that you can use, and it increases your hit area by uh, by double, and it also halves the um, indicator speed. So, it's kind of nice. Grab a lottery ticket to replace the one that we just spent. Oh. Well, that's what we hear. Why we're here. Yeah, we're, you know, your exorcists. Your everyday exorcists. I mean, what's unusual about that? A really young, pretty girl and a really old, creepy man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right there with you, Zhuzhen. The older I get, the more I gotta pee, too. Well, let's just go around and talk to some people. Well, what do you mean? Oh. What do you mean, what's it matter? It was Shanghai that got busted to the ground. No, we didn't. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, he kind of fused with a dark demon god. Oh, well, thanks. And then over here, you have to be like, get, er, I don't want to talk to you. You have to be like right on top of it. There is a priest's wine. And I'm not entirely sure what that does, so let me just find it real quick. Uh, there it is. Ooh, not half bad. I do say so myself. Let's, uh, oh, I didn't want to talk to you. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll talk to you, whatever. Oh, well, thanks. Oh. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, there is some good upgrades here. Wow, major upgrades. I'm going to buy those real fast. Okay, I got those. Um, there's really nothing else here of note. So, unless you really need this stuff, I wouldn't bother. Oh, hey, Zhuzhen. You done? She's always thinking about him. She's in love with him. Can you really blame her? Oh. Oh, where is Marguerite, actually? He probably is dead. Just like his father. Yeah, even if he has been absorbed by a demon summoned from hell itself, he's totally alive. He's a JRPG hero. He can survive anything. Don't you know that? 
Oh. Uh, maybe. I mean, Yuri does kind of dabble in the supernatural, so that would make sense. And who are you? Oh, well, we're here. Well, what do you need? What's going on? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Jujin Brain Trust. You're about as smart as Marguerite there. Bistritz. Small village to the east of here, and you run a store. I think that the owner's trying to drum, drum up more business for his inn. <laughs> oh. Yikes! Vicious monsters! But we're exorcists. We deal with ghosts and stuff, not monsters. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's no good. Huh. So they're like immortal monsters. Maybe they actually are ghosts. Maybe they're werewolves or something. Maybe they're vampires. I don't know, this is Europe after all. Eastern Europe, too. Oh. Lights in the castle windows? Hmm. How unusual. Yeah, I would imagine that if you're the lord of the people that you wouldn't be attacking your own people, you know? Need somebody to farm and work the land. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We've got nothing else to do. It's either that or sit at this bar and piss away our earnings. Yeah. Jujin's right, so maybe you should pay us double? Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Huh, I wonder where she is. Hope she's all right. I mean, I'm glad that it's not just Alice and Jujin. Could you imagine having just a white and a black mage to do the next part of the game? Like, that would really suck. Not that Marguerite's all that hot herself, but yeah, better than nothing. Oh, really? I thought that it didn't have a history of monster attacks. Hmm. Oh, that is true. Uh-oh. You should probably trust your intuition, Alice. Yikes! That's probably Terry. What's going on? Did the monsters follow him? Is he okay? And what's in these bathrooms over here? I really just want to check it out. <laughs> Let's check out the girls' room. There's actually nothing in here. I just think that it's interesting that you can go inside of a restroom and, you know, see it. Can we go inside the men's room, though? No, we cannot. But yeah, we're going to investigate that scream as well as the village of Bistritz next time on Let's Play Shadow Hearts. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.